For our ramble this week, we'll go first to the blue hills of the Cotswolds, the lovely rolling countryside that's England at her best. We're at Winchcombe, and yes, that's ye old corner cupboard inn, buttressed and beautiful in its antiquity. No, uh, we won't call there now. Instead, we'll pop into the George in the High Street. It was a favourite tavern in Cromwell's days, and it still has the original staircase used by the pilgrims who lodged there. An escaping cavalier is said to have been shot in this very gallery. An architectural gem by Inigo Jones is the Jacobean House. Like the town pump that also stood there, it was built for public service as a guild hall. But for many years it has been a school. St Peter's Church is nearly five centuries old, and gargoyles are supposed to represent some of its handsome benefactors. Oh, rude. Over the north and south aisles, there are two little pepper pot towelettes. The noble weathercock on top of the tower, originally perched on St Mary Redcliffe Church in Bristol. In the museum over the porch is a corn dolly, an emblem of straw that the old time gleaners used to make. There's a magnificent view from the tower, a view in keeping with what was once a royal city of the Mercian kings. And from above you can glimpse the beauty of the limestone houses with their stone slatted roofs. Though the royalty has departed, the charm of Winchcombe will reign forever. <laughs>